different, very unique in our industry, the whole of wellness, uh, whole of fitness industry, compared to what you see uh, in the Western countries? Well, I think the main thing for me is the hunger to learn. I love the Indian entrepreneurial spirit um, because that's very much where I come from and I find that that spirit is so strong in India, people really want to learn things, absorb things, find out what the best thing to do is and um, I used to say um, India was uh, 20 years behind some of the western countries but growing so fast it will catch up in five. And, and that's absolutely true, you know. The industry here is booming. Uh, you know, you see how much support we've got here at uh, Fitness. Um, I'll give you a couple of stats. You know, the first year I did Fit Factor, which takes place on this stage later today, we had around 60 competitors. Uh, this year, in total, over the regions, we had over 2,000 competitors taking part. And a massive, massive increase in interest in fitness-related competitions. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so, Dr. Mehta, we have this uh, thing that, you know, like Nick is telling us, that is these fitness competitions and uh, uh, the masses of people joining is increasing. But India has always been this hub of yoga, wellness, Ayurveda, you know, we have always been a 5,000-year-old wisdom. But what we are uh, migrating towards is definitely more a holistic uh, fitness, which is also great. Uh, but where do you see uh, where we can blend the both? Well, opposites always have to complement, not contradict each other. So as much as I would say yoga, stretching, calisthenics, functional training is very good, very, very important, very dynamic in nature. As much as I would say the other modalities of fitness, bodybuilding, are here to stay especially for sports specific, for competitive, competition specific, and for other specific reasons. As long as it is supervised well, as long as it is scientifically approached well, and as long as the sensibilities are not marred. So you can't expect uh, Stanley Laurel to have a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So a Stanley Laurel has to understand his constitutional uh, limitations and has to grow and develop culture in his body along the lines of the same. So one has to be very realistic in nature, but at the root of all, wellness, meditation, very primary, uh, regulated breath, very primary. In fact, I always tell people have breath for breakfast. Breath for breakfast is the best breakfast one can ever have. Taking sunshine, very primary. Having a very, very good night's sleep, meaningful rest is very primary. And having wholesome meals, not overeating, trying to finish the dinner by sunset as much as possible. So that's a wholesome view of the entire, Very much. yeah, it's a wholesome view, it's a holistic approach that we are taking. And uh, when we talk about fitness, like you mentioned, that uh, uh, it has to be scientific, it has to be structured, it has to be progressive. So which also brings uh, this whole angle of, uh, uh, you know, more and more people getting into the fitness industry as trainers, as coaches, as consultants. So we have this whole new segment where, you know, people are opting out of the regular MBAs and engineering and medicine. There's and a great, yes, there's a great, great opportunity. Thanks to people like Nick, that in the last six years, because of the body expo, the awareness has frog leaped. It has grown manifold. And the amount of enthusiasts who are coming here year after year, footfalls are not just doubling but quadrupling. And this shows the interest in wellness, interest in fitness, fitness. The whole industry is growing and I'm very, very sure that fitness, health, bodybuilding, etc., sports are here to stay. And this industry will probably be number two or number one industry of the future after IT. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, uh, India's fitness industry is definitely on the way to being the number one. Um, actually, I'm talking about on a global scale. So, you know, I think, I think globally uh, it definitely has the potential to do that. I think with the sheer size of the 1.5 billion population that we have, we can literally sell good quality products and services 
and become the largest player in the world. Yeah, so with the population of billions that we have, I mean we have uh, you know gym franchises coming up like a body power. So we sh I'm sure we will be having soon outlets all across the country, all across India. So we will be having a lot of you know, so there will be Pilates, there will be bodybuilding, there will be functional training, you know, there's, there's so much, there's so much to do in fitness. But at the end, there's also this thing that, you know, when we talk about population, like the billions of population, so most of the population for them, uh, even though, you know, we, there's a huge platform like a body power offering facilities, offering the best of trainings and stuff, uh, just bringing up themselves and coming to the gym itself becomes a task. So, um, so what, what what tip would you like to give someone, you know, who, who, just to just to make them consistent in what they choose to do? You know, as much there are multi cuisines available today. Today, world has become a, a global village. If you go to New York, you have cuisines of at least 50 countries available there. If you come to Mumbai, you have cuisines of at least 30 to 40 countries available here, and every such mega city. Similarly. Different trends and fads of fitness, uh, different uh, researches of fitness will be available to everybody and each one will have a lot of freedom and a plethora to choose from. More the merrier, the sky is open, infinite and eternal. As many stars have the gumption to come and shine here, more the merrier, they are welcome all. And once again, thanks to people like Nick Morton to bring about a tsunami of awareness with such exposed and then weaving the fabric of the global consciousness of health and fitness under one umbrella of Body Expo. This is phenomenal. Yeah, what, uh, one other thing that I really ought to mention is one of India's most valuable assets, that is the celebrity. Um, because Indian celebrities... Bollywood. Uh, yeah, Bollywood. Uh, you know, um, Bollywood celebrities are different to other celebrities around the world. And I, um, you know, when I first came to India, I trained with lots of the Bollywood celebrities. So we, we did lots of body transformations with them. And um, I was absolutely amazed that these people who've got such high profiles are very passionate about their own country and being able to use their power to persuade people and inspire people. And uh, it's at all levels, you've got phenomenal athletes with massive followings. I, mean, I can see Sahil Khan down there who you know, I'm pleased to work with on lots of occasions. You know, Sahil, he's, he's uh, developed himself this profile um, in fitness and inspires so many people. So it's great that we've got those sort of people here in India. And then the other thing that I've been doing consistently is bringing international athletes here so that they can inspire people. You can hear various um, roars of crowds as, as, uh, as celebrity athletes walk around. And um, one of the, uh, the best things about my job is seeing uh, Indian celebrity athletes uh, getting much, much higher profiles and being able to inspire lots of people as well. So we, we have got uh, a, a very high profile body power athlete team and I'm really pleased to sponsor them because they're so inspiring. It's led by Sangram Chowdhury, who's undoubtedly the, the number one Indian athlete. And Shweta Rapport on the female side is the number one female athlete. These people just spend their lives inspiring people. That's a, it's a real um, honour to work with people like that. And it's great for India because it just acts as a catalyst for the whole industry. I think a lot of credit also goes to social media today. A lot of credit goes to IT for making everything rampant and viral. And yes, influencers like Sahil Khan and of course, my side. And of course, not to forget, as I said, Bollywood, models, television, advertising industry. We are grateful to all such industry because of which health, wellness, fitness is growing in leaps and bounds. Literally, we have taken a quantum leap. He says that it took a long time to catch up, but in the next five years, we'll be at par with the world, and this world, everything will happen simultaneously. This universe will be a simultaneous universe. It is already, and uh, I'm very hopeful that one day, every netizen, citizen of the world, of seven billion people, will be health, healthy, fit, and wealthy with the virtues of love, peace, harmony, and this world will be a prosperous, peaceful place to live in. 
this is what health translates into. This is what fitness translates into. Yes, yes. So that, that's, uh, that's very good words from both of you. I'm sure that they come soon. Uh, we, we're talking about the Bollywood, the cinema, the entertainment. You know, we all love uh, Bollywood, don't we? Yeah, so uh, when we talk about entertainment, Bollywood cinema, there's also a balance between work and recreation, right? Because uh, we also need to understand that there's a middle class India, that's an urban India, that probably also works on weekends. So there is also a very specific need where, you know, we need to understand that we need to balance our work life and we need to balance uh, recreation or, you know, uh, that's also a big part of wellness, isn't that? Well, minus recreation, a person ages very fast. The very, is anti-aging. So the very word recreation means recreating your own being time and time again. So there is cellular regeneration happening every nanosecond anyway. The old cells are replaced by the new. It takes seven days for the stomach lining to change for new, 30 days for the skin to change for new, 90 days for your musculoskeletal structure to change for new. And newness is the way forward. So workouts with regulated breath and calibrated workouts in terms of intensity and pace is the way forward for recreating a new cell every day and that way we will never get old. Awesome. So this is the... Uh, uh, yes, yes, say something on it. Well, I was going to add about nutrition because, you know, nutrition is such an important part of keeping fit and healthy. You know, around the exhibition you will see that there's a whole number of uh, companies that have sprung up uh, doing healthy food. Uh, there's a fitness bowl, for example, um, just over the way. We were probably the first company to start in India uh, doing a great service. And I think that's really pivotal uh, to the whole movement and the lifestyle because people here are now really starting to look at what they're eating and taking it much more seriously. Sure. So that's food for fitness and food of course is a very very important part of the whole you know, this fitness, nutrition, wellness and the entire industry. And, and as much I would want people to eat natural and healthy and wholesome, as much there is a need for supplementation but to be done under sensible, intelligent supervision, qualified supervision and of course do see the ratings of the company and certification of the company from which you buy. Then I'm sure a balance of 70-80% natural food, 30% of supplementation should be a good sensible balance. Yeah, there are some issues here with supplementation in that there's counterfeit products. You'll see around a whole um, selection of quality companies who are absolutely passionate about supplementation. These companies will give you the right advice. So anybody that's thinking about supplementation, talk to these people because they're all passionate about making sure people take the right products, quality, genuine products. And uh, you know, obviously you know lots of these people, you know, they're talking about how to make their products more secure so they can't be copied, changing the packaging regularly so it can't be copied, improving formulations, innovating, um, there's, there's a wealth of companies here that are really passionate about fitness and nutrition. So I think supplementation is a really important part of the market here. Internationally, supplementation is much more uh, developed and uh, really it's quite a young market here. But I see enormous growth here and uh, as the market develops, uh, these companies are going to be able to take advantage of that. So supplementation is great till the time you're buying the right product, till you're buying the right quality from the right brand and also till the time you're doing activity which is based, you know, because you cannot be not do doing anything and just taking supplements and as the name supplement suggests, you do not really supplement, it's just supplement, it's not meal replacement. So, till the time you are eating good food, till the time you are eating more of wholesome food and then based on your workout, supplementation becomes important. So, I think we can wrap this up with more important points that we need to be more holistic. It's about a, a holistic uh, view, a wholesome view to fitness and we are very, very thankful to Nick to bring this to India so that we have a plethora of choices when it comes to fitness, supplements, food. And uh, also to uh, Dr. Mehta for bringing in the ancient wellness, wisdom and blending the both together. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bhagavan. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. Wish you good luck for your group in Thank you, Mulmoon. Thank you. You brought out the best.
and we would like Mickey and Nick to stay on the stage because we've got someone joining us for the unveiling of Kawa. May I request Rishi Kapoor, Senior Director of Conferences and Special Energies Initiatives, Time Strategic Solutions, to come and join us on the stage, please. Please, Rishi, if you can please join us on the stage. All right, we gotta be really careful. Okay. I request the audience to step back a little. Let's keep the safety in mind. Thank you. Please step back a little. May I request you all to step back a little. Let's keep the safety in mind.